Hi there, everyone. Uh, if you're like me, you've been enjoying Elden Ring for since it came out, and it's been a lot of fun. But maybe recently you were playing some co-op or uh, getting some invaders into your game. Maybe you got invaded, and as soon as they did, you went to a loading screen. And after that loading screen ended, you're in the middle of the ocean, dying repeatedly. Well, today I'm going to show you how to get out of that because I have found that the main sources of how to get out of this situation have been unhelpful to me, but I want to put this video out there so you guys will have an easier time from now on. Follow the steps down below and I'm going to show you how to get out of the death loop. The only solution I've been able to find that gets you out of this death loop is unfortunately cheating the game. So we're going to be using a cheat engine to get us out, warp us back to the first step so we no longer die repeatedly at the <laughs> in the middle of the ocean. While this is cheating, I do not endorse using any of these cheats online. Do not use any of these cheats online. That is unfair to other players. And th the only reason I'm endorsing this is because it's the only reason, I, only way I've found to get out of this situation. So please do not use these cheats online. Please delete the program after you're done. And let's get into it. The main thing we want to do first is disabling anti-cheat. Now, there's been two different methods that you can do. I found the first method was not d messes things up later on, whereas this next method will will help you out uh, extremely. The first method I tried to do was like renaming start protected game something else and copying the exec uh, execute file as start protected game. Messes steps later on. Don't do that. So the main thing you want to do is create a new text file and you're going to name it this right here, steam underscore app ID. You're going to name it that and then you're going to put in that text file 1245620. Now why that stops uh, the anti-cheat, I have no idea. But from now on, whenever you start the executable from in this folder, not through Steam, when you start it in your game folder, which uh, where that location is, look down in the description below. When you start the game from this folder, it will it will not launch anti-cheat and it's not gonna mess up our steps later on. So do uh, make this text file and you should be good to go for disabling anti-cheat. Now, after that, make sure you download both Cheat Engine, which is the engine that allows us to do different cheats. And this is what a lot of people use to do, enable mods and stuff in different games. And you're going to download specifically the Elden Ring cheat table. Now that's going to have all the preset scripts that are that's going to actually have the warp that we're going to use to get out of the ocean and back onto the mainland. So once you have those downloaded, we're going to be good to go. So go ahead and start up Elden Ring. Remember, from this folder, not, not from steam start the executable file from in here and let that load up i already have it running so i'm just going to go on from here the main reason why this is happening is because what invaders are doing is they're they're setting your spawn point um like you know when you and you open those trap chests they, they basically use that code to set your spawn point to a certain area on the map. That's how those trap chests work. So you keep spawning in that location over and over again. And, you know, they just sit in the ocean because they're they're dicks. <laughs> so um, once you have an Elden Ring running, um, go, uh, go ahead and log into your character where the death loop is happening, okay? Once you have that character logged in and you see the death loop over and over again, go ahead and open up cheat engine just hit yes to that so cheat engine so this is what it looks like right here okay the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to open you're going to click the little screen with the magnifying glass on there okay all right you click the little screen with the magnifying glass and once you do that it's going to list all the processes that you have left up don't use applications don't use windows use processes and you're going to go up till you see your elden ring boom there's my Elden Ring executable file right there. Now, the reason why um, the first method of anti-cheat was messing up is because this wasn't labeled as Elden Ring. It was labeled as like starter, starter start game, whatever. So th it's really important to make sure that's under Elden Ring.xe, and you're going to hit open. Now, after that, go to the folder at the top there. And this is where you you open up your cheat engine, your cheat table. You're going to open up your cheat table right there. So at following the links in the description, 
you should just be able to open that up and see we got all these things down here in the description you got a code list and stuff like that perfect if we see all that it, it, it we're we're doing good so far so you have elden ring open you got death loop going on uh you open up the table what you're gonna do the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click the top box there where it's elden ring on one table after you click that box the only thing that we're doing the only thing that we're doing is we're going down to other scripts we're going down to warp by luke underscore yui the location is already set to limgrave the first step see the value is set to limgrave the first step go ahead and click that and click warp and after you click warp after you die the next time you're gonna warp back to limgrave the first step okay I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, but but you should be all good. After you hit the, the warp, then you're you're good to go and go ahead and rest and save and you'll be out of there. Now, some things I want to tell you, when you load into Elden Ring after you've, uh, you've disabled anti-cheat and stuff like that, it should launch you in offline mode. Uh, and that's the key thing is you should automatically be booted off into online mode. Now, you may see a message that says, oh, uh, fraudulent activity detected. Don't worry about that, it's okay. You haven't been banned, you haven't been removed from all the servers or anything like that, that's okay. Um, the main thing that is kind of like a final thing of being like, hey, you're doing some weird stuff and we kind of know it, but you should be able to, once you, after this, uninstall cheat engine, you know, uh, uh, reinstall anti-cheat, or basically, sorry, don't reinstall anti-cheat. Delete that text file for anti-cheat you should be able to, you know, get back in the Elden Ring just fine. You should be okay. Just warping out of there shouldn't set off any of the sensors for anti-cheat. You should be okay. So the main thing I wanted to just show you guys this is because I was having a hard time finding out how to solve this. And I want to make sure you guys were able to have a step-by-step -step process to figure out how this all, uh, how this all works out. Now, I was using other cheat engines before, other than the one in the description, and they weren't working because they were out of date. I was having a lot in that value section and the other, other points of the addresses, it was all question marks. If you get that, that means they probably updated the game and you need to find a newer cheat engine. Um, try going to Nexus Mods, which is where the link is. Uh, make an account, it's free, um, and you should be good to go. Other than that, have fun tarnished. <laughs>